Meteors could range in size from about that of a small pebble down to a grain of sand. Others are so large that they could wipe out an entire species, like the Chicxulubin pacta that killed the dinosaur. So far, we've encountered meteors that are only a few kilometers in diameter, and they live in their wake shock waves, heat radiation, the formation of craters with associated earthquakes, and tsunamis if water bodies are hit. Meteorites have blasted craters in North America, Australia, and Africa. A major impact event can release the energy of several million nuclear weapons detonating simultaneously. This begs the question, is a major impact event imminent and are we ready for it? Meteoroids are fragments of space objects. Most of them are debris ejected from the Moon or Mars upon a collision impact. When a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, it becomes visible as a meteor. Meteoroids that survive the Earth's atmosphere impact the ground as meteorites. Without a science and space exploration to aid in understanding of what these space rocks are, ancient cultures often turn to myth. They believe meteors were potentials that there were signs that something good or bad has happened or was about to happen. NASA has collected data about 45,000 meteorites that have struck our planet. In 2013, a house-sized meteor exploded over a city in Russia and injured some 1,200 people. And then, on the ground, chaos as fragments slammed into Earth. Witnesses say they thought a war had broken out. In 2016, a NASA scientist warned that the Earth is unprepared for an impact event of a large asteroid. With about 25 million meteors hitting Earth every day, there's a really, really small chance of a large asteroid hitting Earth. So scientists are getting ready, just in case. Asteroid impact avoidance comprises the methods by which near-Earth objects on a potential collision course with Earth could be diverted away, preventing destructive impact events. One such proposal suggested detonating one or a series of nuclear explosive devices along the asteroid to deflect it. Other techniques include a slow gravity tractor, which will use the gravity of a spacecraft to pull the asteroid and the mid-ranged kinetic impactor which will slam one or more spacecraft into the asteroid to developing techniques such as laser ablation that will vaporize rock to create jets that push the asteroid. NASA's DART mission, which will launch next month, will test the kinetic impactor technique defense plan. The target is a binary asteroid which consists of one larger asteroid measuring 78 meters in diameter and a smaller moonlet measuring 160 meters across. If all goes to plan, the DART craft will crash into the moonlet surface at a speed of roughly 15,000 miles per hour, obliterating the spacecraft on impact. This high-speed crash will barely phase the asteroid, causing it to lose a fraction of a percent of its velocity. Although neither asteroid poses a threat to Earth, this collision will enable researchers to demonstrate the deflection technique along with several new technologies and collect important data to enhance the modeling and predictive capabilities for asteroid deflection. And these enhancements will help us better prepare should an asteroid ever be discovered as a threat to Earth. <laughs>